We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you always, and with your spirit. As we gather today, we are finishing the fifth week of the Easter season here on this Friday morning. And we welcome you here to St. Boniface of the Oratory Parishes as we pray together and seek God's grace. Let us call to mind the mercy that God has poured out upon us in our Lord Jesus Christ. You are a Son of God and a Son of Mary, Lord, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and end of all things, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We turn now to God's Word. Our first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers and sisters. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Sicilia, of Gentile origin. Greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number, who went out without any mandate from us, have upset you with their teachings, and disturbed your peace of mind, we have in one accord decided to choose representatives to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are sending you Judas and Silas, who will convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us, not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they went on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. And when the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be God. Our psalm response, I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will give, I give you thanks you. among the peoples. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, above all the earth. Be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, and you do what I command you. 
I no longer call you slaves because the slave does not know what the master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just a quick word today. We hear Jesus talk about friendship and about love. And in the Greek, those two words come from the very same roots. Philios for friendship, phileon for love. And so when we think about friendship and love, we often think about them in different ways. That love is this theological concept Jesus has, but that friendship somehow gets relegated to the social world, but rather in the very core of how Jesus understands the relationship with God and community, love and friendship are bound intricately together. You and I sometimes experience this, how love and friendship are bound so together. And other times, well, sort of like Facebook friends, maybe it's not so bound together. It's complicated. But as we go through this, this time of separation, I want us to think about that friendship and love are really one and the same thing. The friendship that we share, even though we are apart, is bonded by the love of God that lives in us and through us for one another and with one another. It is a reciprocity that Jesus calls us to in the gospel today. You are my friends, he says. And so as the friends of Jesus, we love God as Jesus calls us to love God. We love neighbor as Jesus calls us to love neighbor. We are then not simply people in a community, but we are friends, made so by the love of God and Jesus, made so by our living that love together. And so as we live that love today in our homes, in our isolation, even if we're traveling or out, we live it because Jesus calls us to be friends of his. And today, my friends, let us love as Jesus loves. Let us live gen ge love generously and live generously with and for each other today, even in the things that challenge us. Let's pray for that grace. As we ready our altar for this Eucharist, we are mindful of all those who do such good in our world, and we give thanks to them, our medical workers, researchers, doctors, nurses, emergency personnel, for all those who stretch themselves every day, parents who are schooling their kids at home, teachers who are going through the extra work of remote learning, for all those who are in our grocery stores and keeping us running in our pharmacies and all those essential places. Thank you. We pray for you. We ask God to bless you deeply. Bless for you, Lord and God, all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread, this wine and love, and which earth has given human hands and me, it will become for us the bread of life, the cup of eternal salvation. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, in my sacrifice and words, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the good Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all the church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, we pray, O Lord, accepting this offering of our spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with 
Just dump your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of the all, to praise you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for him the children of light rise to eternal life. The halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for Christ's death is our ransom from death. In Christ's rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, we come with pastor joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and had willingly entered his passion, Jesus took bread and said the blessing and broke the bread. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, this represented Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Um, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Nicholas, our Bishop, and with all who serve and minister in the name of your gospel. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Holy Apostles, the Saint Philip, Saint Boniface, St. John Henry Newman, and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In faith and confidence, let us praise Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, by the help of your mercy, we may be all sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power of the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace is my gift to you. Look not on us, nor but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant you peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Lamb of God, if you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. We 
Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. And Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word of my soul. Because we are part, and I am privileged to receive this Eucharist, I pray now that we this act of spiritual communion so that we might continue to eat and drink with one another. My Jesus, I believe that you are present with the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Our Lord. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, once again, I thank you for joining us here in our prayer. I hope that you stay safe today. Wear your masks, socially distance from one another, do all the right things, find something to laugh about, to rejoice in, do something nice for yourself and someone else. Let's help us make ripples of joy today. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you, may you be now and always. The celebration of our Eucharist is now complete, let us go in peace, love, and serve the Lord.